Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today I'm excited because I'm going to take you on the journey of organizing a kid's closet. This is my little niece who is now seven, Savannah. Many of you know her. You might remember when I organized Savannah's nursery seven years ago, can you believe it, when she was a little baby? And now she is in second grade and she needed her closet. Her closet was way overdue. Um, to get organized as she goes into starting school. And also with school starting, I encourage you, you know, put that kid's closet at the top of your list to get organized for the back to school season. So let's jump right in. Okay, friends, so as you see, Savannah's closet is one of those typical little girls' closets. They have a lot of stuff and girls love their things. And so the closet really does not function for her right now. And with her starting school, we wanna give her a great start. Um, she has a lot of things in here that are just kind of stored in here that she does not use, no longer wants. There's this chest in here that although it was in here to serve a purpose, it really doesn't function um, well for what she needs. It's not a closet that she as a seven year old little girl can come in and really get to her clothes um, and be efficient in this space. And let the fun begin. It is now time to get everything out of this closet so that we can categorize, downsize, and then rebuild this into a beautiful space. Friends, I wanna take a pause in the middle of this video really quick to let you know that I'm live on Amazon every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a lot of fun over there. We call ourselves the Friend Girls. We do things from sharing, I share a lot of Amazon products. We chit chat, we catch up. It's kind of our lunch time. So I hope to see you every Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll put the link in the description box below. So now that we have everything taken out of the closet, because I want to give myself a blank canvas to reset her closet. And so I went to a variety of stores. I actually went to at home, Target and Ikea to get all of the essentials that I needed to kind of redo her closet. I knew I wanted to go with these standard linen bins for the top of her closet because it really helps maximize space. I found these gorgeous gold hooks at Target. They're great for, hang for hanging things like book bags and coats and, and all of her purses and things like that. Also, she had kid hangers, and now that she's at a bigger age, her clothes really fit adult hangers, which makes it more efficient, along with these bins I got from Ikea, and of course, smart vinyl for labeling. And then I found these white bins in Target, which are gonna be great for her games, and then of course, these nice little Target baskets that are lightweight and great for all of her accessories and shoes and things like that. And then these bins are gonna be great for some of her puzzles and memorabilia and things like that. So it's important to think about how she works in the space. And so up top is going to be for her things that she doesn't really need, but more so her mom needs. And this is where we have some of her fabric memorabilia, blankets and things, her sheets for her bed, and all of those items that um, her mom needs to grab. Um, but Savannah doesn't necessarily need to grab. Now labeling is important because I am going with a bin system for her closet, which is great for a kid's closet because it allows them the ability to be able to clearly see where their things go, how to put them back, and when they do it, they don't necessarily have to fold everything neat or everything looks great because you don't necessarily see the items, but they are, they are at least categorized, which is really huge. Then when they become teenagers, when you use the bin system, it's really easy to transfer the closet back to just a standard closet um, when they no longer go with the bins. And so these bins are really sturdy. They're from Ikea, and we want something that's really going to last for the kids. There's a lot of different bin options on the market, so you really want to be sure to go with something that really is going to hold up with the kid kind of handling it. 
Also, when choosing the font to put onto the bins, you want to put a font that the kid is going to be able to read at their age level. Something that's clear and easy. It's really going to be helpful in the long run. And then also with the baskets, get something that's lightweight for the kids so that they can really easily get into their basket and bring it and take the things in and out. And friends, for the cube shelving in here, I got these from Ikea. They're very affordable, very durable, great for organizing a kid's closet or even toys and things like that. So now it's about dealing with the stuff and really paring down all of the things that she did not use or play with, which was a good bit. And that's what happens with the closet is it becomes a black hole, a place to just tuck things. And a lot of the things the kids have outgrown or they really don't use. And then with the hangers, it's about hanging those clothes that her mom wants to grab for her, those everyday go-to those essentials that she wants to be able to grab and go along with her coats and her sweaters and cardigans and then in her bins are the clothes that are her everyday clothes her play clothes all of those things that she wants savannah to be able to come and grab with the games i'm going to stack them vertically because this is simple but it makes it easy for her to get her games and to put them back they're on the floor which makes it easy for her but they're organized and efficient so friends here is the closet completed and now functions for a seven-year-old little girl it's really great because when she becomes a teenager, all her mom has to do is take the bins out and her bar is still there to hang her clothes if she chooses to do so. But for a child, this is such a great way to create a well-organized system that allows the child to go in and really get their clothes and put their things back. And it tends to help with keeping the closet organized because everything is broken down into categories. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed seeing this because it really is a space that we should focus on as the kids are going back to school. And also I wanna mention that for her games, I put those two simple baskets on the floor and put her games in there vertically. And as you can see, she can come in here now, easily see her games, grab her games, and then easily put them back. It's a simple system, but it works and it keeps this space organized. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video on my organizing my sweet niece Savannah's closet. If you enjoyed this video, definitely click like on that button. And if you're not subscribed to the At Home with Nikki family, I would love to have you definitely click that subscribe button. Friends, have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.